This is instructions on how to set up the avatar prop food system for VRChat. So start with Creator Companion. In this example, I'm just going to create a new project. And you need to make sure you have the Avatars 3.0 Manager added. Now I'm going to open the project and this will take a little while because it's the first time this project is being opened. So, Okay, now the project's loaded and I'm going to start by just putting in a example avatar. In this case it's just going to be a raccoon with the prop system removed. This will take a little while. Okay, the raccoon has imported so I'm just going to drag it into this scene. There you go. And now we will import the food system. And again, that will take a little while. Okay, now everything's set up and we can get started. So we're going to start by going to food system. And then there's this prefab called avatar prop. We're going to drag that in. Right click, unpack prefab, and drag it underneath fat raccoon variant so it's part of the avatar. Now you can see we have mouth and reset position. We're going to have to put those in their correct places on the avatar. So for mouth that should either go under head or jaw, something connected to the head. So we'll drag it there and you can kind of rescale it however you need to to get it to... Oh, alright I did that wrong. You can uh, rescale it however you need to to get it to fit properly. So like that for this raccoon in particular. And you can see it has all the contact receivers and a sender. And then for the reset position, uh, that can kind of go wherever you want. I tend to put it on the hand. So we'll put it there. And then again, Zero, 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 zero. Okay, so that part's set up. Now all we have to do is merge the uh, animators. So we're going to go Vera Labs Avatar 3.0 Manager. Drag the avatar here so it's selected. FX, add animator to merge. And we'll go back to food system and we'll, we'll grab this food system animator. Now because there's already a parameter called belly on here, it's creating something called belly zero, which we'll go through and fix in a minute. But you can see it's adding a bunch of parameters. So we'll hit merge on current. And then this is important. Uh, this column has stuff that marks which parameters are synced. We want, um, I'm not going to check belly zero because we already have belly. Um, we want slow grow, prop, and avatar prop enable as synced parameters. Okay, now that's done. Now we're going to go in and fix the uh, thing with it having belly zero. So if we go to uh, food, you can see that right now it's adding to the parameter belly zero, which is the one that was just added. So we need to change this to actually add to the real belly parameter called belly. So you're going to go through and do it for all these, or you can find anything else, for example, that references your old belly and switch it back to switch it to this one. It's really up to you. So you want to go through uh, these animations and these animations and switch them all from belly zero to belly. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, so now I've changed everything back to the original belly. So we can go back into parameters and hit delete. And since there's no error message that popped up or no warning that popped up, it means we um, did it correctly and removed all the belly zero references. Because if something references that parameter, it'll give you a warning. All right, now that's done and we move on to the final steps which are to go into this parameters. So if you click on the avatar and scroll down, you'll find parameters. 
click that see that um, these are all correct uh, you can save something if you want it to um, keep the setting when you switch off the avatar switch into a new world but I would recommend against doing saved for avatar prop enable or having default be checked as that could cause some issues and then we'll go to our menu and we want to add a new submenu. I'm just going to call this props. And submenu, uh, prop menu. And if you uh, check what prop menu is, that contains toggles for slow growth, switch between soda and burger, which are the default props, and enable the prop. So now this should be all done. If you want, you can use the emulator which you can get from here, uh, Gesture Manager. And if you want to test it, you would um, run the emulator and then you'd have to move bone base to get it to move the prop to the mouth. Um, and just kind of some stuff for people who want to create their own props. Uh, all that really needs to be done is your prop should have be underneath object container and have some animation like this to toggle it on and off. So have it be off by default and then have the animation toggle it on. And then you'll want to um, have it positioned kind of like this then you want a contact sender um, to have either food M, food S, food, food L, or drink. Uh, food S, food L, and food M uh, grow the belly by different amounts. That's configurable. It, what's important for cross compatibility is just that it uses these tags. And then if you have something that's a food item and you want it to disappear after it's eaten, you want to make sure you have a receiver that's looking for a contact called mouth and activates a parameter called disable food. So this has goes with a sender on the mouth that sends something called mouth and will tell anything looking for that to turn off. And then for drinks, um, you would just use a sender that says drink and there's no need to set something to disable it when it reaches the mouth. So um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or uh, you can contact me on Twitter at, at dflyers. Thanks.